everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, it's time for the holiday season. Yes, and have I got a treat for you. Now I took an excursion over to Spirit Halloween. And by far, this is the classiest Spirit Halloween I've ever seen. Like, as we all know, Spirit Halloween is known for infesting any building that just became available. So, I went to this location here in Las Vegas and I was floored. This is the classiest Spirit Halloween I have ever seen. Wow. And inside, I was not disappointed. There was premium quality items inside this Spirit Halloween, folks. And I'm going to show it to you today. Is that a flat iron? Or you get it. Now, I am a huge fan of, like, the Child's Play movies and the Chucky series that was on FX. Uh, it's coming back. I cannot wait. We yeah, see Spirit Halloween. Ooh, I'm a scary skeleton. Yes. I found in there these wigs. Now, not just any wigs. They are premium wigs from Spirit Halloween. These are the premium Child's Play Chucky wig. Check her out. Isn't she gorgeous? And look at it. She's traded in her knife for a flat iron. <laughs> Talk about moving up in the world. Oh my gosh. Like, this is kind of slaying me right now. Like <laughs> she got, She's flat ironing her hair. Like it's a little off character for Chucky, but you know what? Go off, sis. Chucky's going through her scene era. And it says here, premium Chucky includes two knife clips. Wait, it does? Oh, it does. I, I didn't even read that. As well as heating styling tool compatible. Oh, heated styling tool compatible, which means I can use a flat iron on this. Let's open up and see what's inside. Here we go. We take a little thing out. She is really gorgeous. Whoever this model is, she is she's beautiful. Wow. She is beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> Chucky over there in the corners. Just so you know, it's still child's play. That's how you know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what the wig looks like. Here we are. Fought with it for a second there. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. There we are. This is the child's play wig. And there's, um, that's the red. And there are the little knife clips. Oh, these are cute. It's a little knife from the movie. You know, like, give me the power, I beg of you. That knife. And we have the little signature Child's Play series knife from the from the promos. Okay. Well, looking at it from outside the package, I have to say, the hair quality seems kind of just eye. It's like standard synthetic hair. It doesn't feel like plastic party store hair. So that is an upgrade, I will say. I can't really grasp. I'm curious to, like, see how it's going to perform. But I know you folks are just wondering what this wig looks like. And I will not disappoint you. I'm going to take this wig off and I'll be right back with the tried on Chucky wig. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. This is the wig and it is giving very like, you know, baby drag and Margaret. It's, it's a look. We got to put the clips in because I feel like that will give us the achieved look that they were actually going for. Okay, here we go. And another side here to keep the, the wig bangs out of your face. Sickening! Oh my god, she is sickening. Okay, back test. Ernie, tell me how the back is. It's not as bad as the Walmart wig, but you can see a few tracks, but it's not it's not bad at all. You could tease it, you won't be able to see it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Like as far as premium quality goes up, like it's going up in the world. Because we've seen some costume wigs on this channel that honestly were criminal to be sold. But this one actually feels pretty nice. It's got nice hair quality. It's a beautiful color. I have to say, like, I'm excited to actually style this. These curls are not my favorite. So I'm excited to take the curls out. How much was it? How much was this? I have the receipt right here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. According to Spirit Halloween, this Chucky wig was $26.99. That's pretty steep for a costume wig, which you could probably find something on Amazon that's comparable for a little cheaper, it's just gonna cosplay wig, honestly, if you're doing Chucky. You could find all sorts of like spiky, fun hairstyles, but I guess this is going for like Chucky, but sexy. Chucky, the sexy version. <laughs> As you can tell from the promo photo, that's that's what they're going for, sexy Chucky, which is which is a new approach. So that's, that's interesting and new, okay? T to each their own. I'm gonna get this off my head and I'm gonna start styling this. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, it's all pinned on the head. Now, there's a few things I wanted to address with this wig. Okay, so retailers, 
when we're calling something premium, can we just make one commitment to our brand? Can we stop putting them on like these netted caps? Like, what is that? Like, I get we're trying to cut corners, but if you're gonna call it a premium, like at least just put it on like an actual open cap, like a, like a proper wig. At least do that. It, it can't be that much more expensive. Come on now. All right, now let's start styling this. All right, first things first, I'm gonna start by teasing it. Now the hair quality is actually not bad from like the touch. It doesn't feel horrible. Like it feels like some pretty decent like quality costume store hair. Like definitely not the plastic fibers that we're used to getting and dealing with on this channel. Okay, I'm gonna start by ratting it down. Now normally when the fibers are softer like this, I usually find it harder to rat them down. This one's not so bad. Okay, yeah, it's ratting down fairly easily, so that's good. I don't mind that. That's working in my favor. I might do a rooted hairline or I might do a bang. I was thinking like scene kid Chucky, like mall rat Chucky, that's what I wanna do. You know, she's going through a phase, mom. Don't tell her anything, okay? You're not the boss of her. Scene kid, um, gender fuck Chucky. That's what we're gonna do. Slash mall teen, slash scene kid love. All of it. We're gonna get all of it today. And if we're doing scene kid hair, baby, it's gotta be jacked up to the ceiling. And also looking through this, there's like different little tracks of like lighter blondish ginger inside of this. Like there was some commitment put into this. So I'm a little impressed, I have to say. As far as a standard Chucky wig goes, like if you were to run a brush, this is like some detangler, it probably would be a pretty good like thing to wear if you're just doing like standard, you know, out of the bag, sexy Chucky. Partner with like your leg avenue, sexy Chucky, you know bad girl or whatever you want to put on that. <laughs> now, I also want to test out heat tools on this. So once I have it all teased out, I'm going to trim it and start flat ironing it. That's right, baby. We're taking it back to circa 2010 and we're going to bust out that flat iron, which I'm so excited because I'm actually intrigued to see if mine actually still works. <laughs> It's been a while since I used the flat iron. And honestly, we all went through that phase, especially me. I tortured my own hair in high school, flat ironing it just to get that look. Cause I think it was like, who was it? Like the leads, that one drummer for the band, Pete Wentz. That's who it was, right? Pete Wentz. He was like the really popular person. Whoever was dating Ashley Simpson at that time. He had like that flippy dupes, like scene kid hair. Now I wanna know, what were your phases that you went through in high school? Like we all have one of those things that like we regret doing to ourselves that like just did the worst, like especially hair phases. For me, it was flat ironing. I over flat ironed, I will come clean about that. I abused my hair with flat irons. Much to the point where like, I remember when I bleached my hair blonde, don't recommend <laughs> going from jet black to platinum blonde. Um, I actually used the flat iron on my hair and like a front section of it at the bang and it se like seared it. <laughs> it burned my hair because my hair was so fried and damaged from over bleaching because I used like the 50 volume developer from Sally's. Don't recommend. And yeah, my hair cooked and fried and combined together. So I had to clip it and have an awkward bang that I had to like, you know, style out in the different directions. That, you know, these are things I carry, okay? Not proud of it dark moment but you know i'm willing to be vulnerable for you folks all right now i'm gonna tease the rest of this and i'll be <laughs> right back all right i am back now i have the hair all teased out and even put a wig line in it if you're wondering how i did this some of y'all might be actually brand new to this channel don't even know about this i used to do this all the time it's called a rooted wig line or a drag queen wig line depending on you know who you're talking to it's a classic hair technique you put into a wig to make it look like it's growing out of your scalp before lace fronts are readily available Dry Queens invented this as far as I know. They're the only ones I've ever seen doing it. So this is the this is the rooted wig line. And I actually have a full tutorial on how to do this. I'll post the link down below in case you're curious on how to do this. It's actually really effective to do it in like the back of a wig. If you're doing an updo, it looks really good. Anyways, that aside, I'm ready to start styling this. Now I have to say it teased up fairly easily. Like look at her. She's kind of like a sassy, you know, Anne Margaret kind of moment, like kitten with a whip. Oh my God, I love it. Guess I'll always care. <laughs> okay, so let's start it. I want to try to use the heat tool on it so I have my flat iron ready to go. 
let's see what happens to this hair when I put a flat iron to it. I'm having flashbacks to high school right now. Oh my gosh. The straight hair, the moment, oh, the era. I, I always wanted to go back to this era. I should start straightening my hair again. I have it set to 370 right now, which is like pretty standard. It's actually fairly low. For like human hair, I usually have it a lot higher. So it's not really crisping the hair too much, but it is getting it straightened, which is what you want because you know, it's plastic fiber. I wonder if the package actually says anything about what it can handle. Let's see, 325. Oh, so I have it a bit higher than it's supposed to be. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh, mine doesn't go to 320, 330, five more than usual. It can handle it. You can handle it. All right, let's try this. I gotta brush it a little more <laughs> before I jump the gun. My gosh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited to flat iron hair again. This is gonna remind me, it's bringing back the nostalgia, okay? Now, bear in mind, with scene and everything, I partook a little bit in the aesthetics, but I never could get into the music. I'm what you call a poser. You know, I never got into the music at all. It just was not my thing. But the aesthetics, Honey, I clung to it. My best friend in high school, Jen, she was like a scene queen. Like full on, like hung out at the mall 24 seven with her friends, had gigantic hair. It was bright, like pink, like fright pink. And she had shaved her eyebrows off and drew on pink eyebrows. And to this day, she holds to it that on her MySpace page, she is certain that Jeffree Star saw her eyebrows and copied it. <laughs> she holds to this day, she still believes that Jeffree Star stole her look. <laughs> and I'm inclined to believe it. Yes. <laughs> so yes, he was. I'm sure he was peeping in on you, Jen. You know, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in high school, <laughs> to steal your look. That's 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 what happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, but honey, like I said, I took to the looks definitely. I didn't go full out. Like I didn't have like, you know, the streaks or anything in my hair, but I definitely took the flat ironing it because that was just like a hot new thing I could do with my hair that was freshly long. So like I had like the wispy fringe bang. I would, I, I did all of it. Okay. I'm not proud of myself. Okay. So flat ironing it is actually working out pretty good. I think I may have to have it a little higher cause it's taking a little more than like it should. It's recommended as 325, which I guess is just to make sure people don't fry the hair and complain. But I think it would stand a little more. Like it was straightening out just fine and not getting too withered. So yeah, so far so good, okay? I'm not mad at this. I was worried that it was gonna be a complete disaster and honestly, it's actually turning out to be pretty nice. Okay, that one, that was a knot that I created. That's That was my bad, it wasn't the wig's fault. Let's try and style it a little bit so we can just like work around it. Because what I like about seeing hair is it's kind of like wacky all over. And it's kind of just like about styling the fringe a certain direction. She's going to look like Haley Williams, honey. Yes. Watch, I'm going to go for a scene and it's going to end up looking like Angie Dickinson or something. Like, I just can't help it. It's just in my bones. It's just what comes out of me. And what I love about the scene is like the bionic mullet, like the fashion mullet was like a big thing. I had a bunch of friends that had the fashion mullet. Like especially like little gay boy friends, they used to do that a lot. Where it was just like pin straight hair up top, like going to the side and then just like a long flat mullet all the way back. It was so stylish. Like I wish I could pull it off. All right, you layer it up on top because we want like that big, like, you know, atom bomb explosion on top. So I gotta layer it up a lot with reckless abandon. I guess I should talk a little bit about Child's Play. Honestly, girls, I was really enjoying that Chucky series that had just come out. Like, I'm kind of bummed it's not out anymore because, like, it had Gina Gershon in it. Like, Jennifer um, Jennifer Tilly made an appearance in it. Like, she came back and replaced her role. Like, it was really campy and really fun. Like, they really just leaned in. They're like, you know what? Screw trying to be serious. <laughs> Let's just lean into the absurdity of our lore, which Chucky was always really, really good about. Like they had John Waters in their movies at some point. Like they just leaned into the kitsch of it all and the gayness of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. As soon as I start swooping that bang to the front, cause like it's all about like one big bang. It, it couldn't just be one bang. Your bang had to be like your whole face. So it's like in front of your face. Oh yes, honey. 
You gotta flat iron it. <laughs> yes! It's already getting there. And with the little clips, it's gonna be everything. What I love is like with Steam Kid hair, like it could be anything you wanted, honestly. Like textures, you get all the textures. Let it be like Taylor Dane's hair and tell it to my heart. Where she just sat down in the booth and she said, you know what? Give me all the hairstyles. Let's try and find some sanity in this now. But I feel like it's kind of going the direction I want. So you're gonna have to layer it the tiniest bit. But I am excited. Let's check her out. She is gonna look like the lead singer of Paramore once I'm done. It's giving Chucky, but sexy and seen. Like if the seat of Chucky became a scene queen. Oh my God, all you know, it's just like one of those little like headbands, like the little like big rubber bands that you put over the hair on top of it, like a headband. Oh. I loved all of it, okay? I was here for all of it. And she's got to spell out her name with letters and symbols and update her MySpace profile constantly. Like every day it has to be something new. Okay, now I'm gonna continue flat ironing this and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll just be right back. So it's gonna take me a little bit to style it. So we'll jump back after I've gotten a little more <laughs> All right, we are back. And baby, she is the queen of the scene. Look at her. Wow, whatever make you big. And what's the other one? Is it, is it Rush Rush or Crush Crush? Isn't it Crush? Is it Crush? Like I said, I didn't listen to the music, okay? I just, I was here for the aesthetics. But she's ready for um red red jumpsuit apparatus, my chemical romance. Whatever is like headlining when we were young festival. That's that's the music she's listening to, guys. Anyways, <laughs> right now I'm doing my final touches for styling, which is like basically making a hair look windblown, even though it's not actually moving. And running my fingers through all the hairspray. <laughs> because hairspray played a huge part in this, honey. And that's why I liked it so much, because it reminded me so much of like 60s hair a little bit. Like as big as you possibly can get it. Like girls were using hair extensions and bumps and all sorts of stuff to like get their hair jacked up high, which I love. Anytime people start doing stuff with their hair, I'm immediately invested. But it's actually coming along pretty good. I think there's just a few little finishing touches missing. I didn't really need to put a wig line in this. I noticed. <laughs> I guess it did help because it gives it like a nice little underneath line. So it's not like that harsh line. So maybe it wasn't such a bad idea, but we need to add it our final scene girl touch, which is clips. We're gonna use our little Chucky clips and we're gonna clip down our pieces here. And that's how you know she is super cool. Usually like you clip it two at a time or you just honestly at the personality right there. But honey, you can't take her, okay? She is on her way to Orange Julius right now, all right? <laughs> this is fun, I love it. Like check her out, that's the hair. And she's looking pretty good, like she's stylish. I'm excited to try this on, I gotta change my outfit, but I'll be right back with the final. <laughs> All right, we're back. Is the monitor on? Yeah. <laughs> it's too accurate. I think I might have gotten, I might have like achieved the look too much. <laughs> this is actually Ernie's hoodie from high school. <laughs> Check it out. It just sits in our closet like an artifact. But yeah, this is how these sleeves had to be worn. It has to cover your whole hand, like that. <laughs> I feel like this is like accurate to the time. Okay, like this is a hair like scene kids would have dreamed of having. It's very Haley Williams. It's very scene kid love. Like I am living a little, these, this puts it over the top right here. This little clip detail. That's very important. <laughs> it's very important to have those. Also, I have cool earrings there by Purple Banana. They're, Chucky earrings that she sent me for her serial killer collection. So cool. And like the shirts from Hot Topic. We are going full mall of this. <laughs> mall of America drag, honey. Oh my God. I cannot. Like looking at the monitor is cracking me up. I can't take it. <laughs> but also I made sure to take a nice MySpace angle photo for you folks. In my bathroom for complete accuracy. Towel and shower completely visible. <laughs> The MySpace angles, if you're young, ask someone a little older, they'll tell you all about it. Like there was a very specific way you had to take a picture. And it was usually with like your own, with like your mom's digital camera. And it was so hard to get a good one. You went through like 70 of them until you finally got one that made you look somewhat decent and you filtered the shit out of it. Oh my God. The memories just came flooding back. 
Like they were so overexposed. We put so many filters on because we didn't know what we were doing. We're too busy coding and programming our own MySpace page. All right. I can believe at one point I was a coder. <laughs> I was building my own web page. All right. Just so you can hear some awful song that I thought was everything that week. Yes. Oh my God. MySpace brings back memories. The song on your profile picture. Like anytime someone clicked your profile, they had to suffer through the song that you picked to represent you that day. My gosh. <laughs> tonight, tonight that I only, yes, very that. Oh my God. Now the hair fibers actually weren't terrible. For a premium wig, this is actually pretty good. Like it, it withstood the heat pretty well. And it made for like the really severe, like damaged mall hair that I wanted. I went a little higher achieve that and used lots of hairspray. It's accurate, honey. Like I'm a little spooked. <laughs> right, let me get in the character. Like I need a cigarette and I need like Cookie Monster pajamas underneath. Like that would really complete the look. And I am walking in that gym class, okay? I am not running. And there's nothing that gym teacher can do to stop me. <laughs> but this is the look, oh my gosh. Now I have to take a moment, a Venmo where I think everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. As well as I have some YouTube super thanks from Chuch Yeah. Frankie, Roger, thank you, darling Dolphine, Tashwani, Darth Karai, and Martha Anastasia. Thank you all so much for the YouTube super thanks. I appreciate it so much. Oh my gosh, now this has been a trip down memory lane and I have to take all this off because look at the most pedestrian I've looked on this channel in a while. <laughs> it's such a startling contrast. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If there's an awesome Halloween wig that you see, Please let me know down below. I will definitely check it out, all right? And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click here and watch me style a $10 Party City wig or see me tour the comedy queens in Australia. Come on, click it, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll put holes in your stockings. So click it. <laughs>